Well, it depends on your situation. This one's not, there's not a right and wrong here. It's just, is it necessary or not? Again, All right. Where's that trunk going to land? If you put a stick on the ground. Nah, just don't walk out there. Just do me a favor. Don't walk out there. Hit this stick right here? No, nah, probably not. It's probably going to go probably pretty close to that, that, the, the, what, well, that, that big cherry, but side. maybe a little to the left there. Oh, wow. Anyhow, so the notch is made. The back cuts wide on this side because the tree's leaning out towards the house here. We got natural crotch just threw that rope up around the trunk there. I hope you guys can see that. And the standing end is anchored over here to that little tree. We got a rigging ring over here. And then the line's going down to the trailer. D-ring on the back of the trailer. And this young man here is about to do some driving. Go ahead, Stuart. Let's see what happens here. We'll see how this tree goes relative to the ha relative to the house here. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. That's exactly where you want. Well, it worked, you know. Well, if yeah. To the right, it hand over yeah, yeah. So it's clear, cleared the cleared the uh, sidewalk over here, stonework, and then just laying out there in the middle of the yard. So this one's gone over, done with. Not a lot of control out of that hinge, but look at that hinge. That's called a swing Dutchman. Cut the whole end of that hinge off over there. Not a big deal. Well, a few, you know, a few fibers pulled out of there, but that's maple. You're not going to get a lot of control out of like that that, that kind of Norway maple when it's in, in bad shape, like this tree was. You just can't trust the, that hinge. So you got to you got to make it happen with the the rigging. All right.